Feel free to check out my tea public after the video. What is up everyone? Titan Goji here, back from GFest 26. Oh my god, what a blast. This year's GFest was much better than last year's, but I'll make a video about more on that subject later. And without further ado, this is my GFest 26 2019 haul. To uh, start things off, first thing I did was go to the reception in which I got this uh, Shikishi signed by all of these special guests, including uh, Akira Takarada, Shusuke Kaneko, and uh, Sanoe Nakajima, uh, the daughter of Haruo Nakajima, for those who don't know. Then I got my obligatory uh, weekend pass with my names on it, as well as the obligatory G-Fest program signed by Akira Takarada, which he wasn't really supposed to, but hey, I was lucky enough to, to like, get it signed by him. And then I got this uh, Nessie art book based on the cancelled Hammer Toho production, uh, which was which contains a ton of Nessie artwork inspired by the film, as commissioned by Greg Nanaman, who hosted a panel about the cancelled project. And then I got a bunch of physical copies of Primal Warrior Draco Azul Number One, signed by Andreas Perez, the writer, and Jeff Zornow, who's a uh, uh, signature is a little uh, smudged. Also, got one that is framed, signed by both of them as well. And as for like more art stuff, I got this uh, Banjo Minya, which I got from the Monstrosities panel on Friday. And I also got this pretty epic piece of Yanguri versus Pulgasari by Larry Quatch. An individual by the name Jonathan Ware gave me some Gamera fan art. Here it is. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, dude. I, I greatly appreciate that. And I also got Matt Frank's print for Howl from Beyond the Fog, which is signed by him and director Daisuke Sato as well. Now for more autograph stuff. Uh, I got Akira Takarada to sign my Criterion Blu-ray of the first Godzilla film. And then I got Shusuke Kaneko to sign my Gamera Trilogy, which was previously signed by special effects director Shinji Higuchi, as well as my Blu-ray for GMK, as uh, you can see right there, and my Blu-ray for Death Notes 1 and 2. All right, now we're going into the meat of the hall, or b before the meats of the hall, I, I guess. Definitely one of the best purchases I've ever made in my life is a bootleg of Supida Man. As you can see here, it is the complete series, which also includes the movie. I'm so happy I got this. <laughs> and from the Monstrosities booth, I got some Pepsi Men bottle caps. P E P S I Pepsi. And I got this one just cuz. I also got a couple of uh, keychains of film cells from tra uh, the trailers from Godzilla 2000 and Orochi the Eight-Headed Dragon. Uh, I, don't, I don't really have a light with me so you can like see them well, so um, I'll just post pictures here. I also got this little Titanosaurus button from uh, Chicken Man's booth. Uh, you can see the reflection on my phone. Sweet, okay, there it is. There's the Titanosaurus. Okay, moving right along to the figures. I purchased this red man figure from my good friend Ian aka Takatsu. Okay, this is pretty epic. And again from the Monstrosities booth, I got the Universal Studios Japan Godzilla vs. Evangelion Ghidorah. This is a really sweet figure. I really love this design. And I also got the Movie Monster series Godzilla King of the Monsters figures, starting with this very funny looking Rodan. God, I just... I just love it. <laughs> and then we got Mothra over here. There's our boy. Along with our favorite golden galaxy destroying space dragon. And the third Ghidorah figure, which I also got from the Monstrosities booth, is the Godzilla Store exclusive GMK Ghidorah, which is really sweet. Like, it just looks like candy. I kind of want to I'm gonna take a bite out of it, you know? Before I go into the crown jewel of this haul, which is like the last figure uh, in this little collection I got, I just wanna show you guys some posters that I have framed as well. I got this poster of the film Yamato Takeru, AKA Orochi the Headed Dragon, which 
is pretty freaking sweet if you ask me. I love this movie so much. I'm so happy that I got an official poster for it. Uh, I should probably try to pick up the theatrical program sometime eventually, which has the Noriyoshi Arai artwork on it. And when I went to go see Monster Zero at the Pickwick Theater, they were actually selling posters for Godzilla King of the Monsters since that movie isn't really playing in theaters anymore. So I went ahead and bought a poster myself and got it framed. Like, oh man, it's like ginormous. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you know what, uh, I'll show it up. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> like this, it's huge, it's ginormous. Anyway, without further ado, the crown jewel of this haul is the convention exclusive M1 Glow in the Dark Giras from Ultraman. There were only 60 of these sold for $70 each. The hype for this figure was insane. Now, as always, like, I'm sure every G-Fest, people camp out at, like, 4, 5 a.m., uh, like, waiting in line for the dealer's room to open, which doesn't open until 10 o'clock. When those doors opened, everyone stormed straight to the M1 table as if it was, like, the beaches of Normandy or something. But not only was M1 selling this convention-exclusive glow-in-the-dark g from Ultraman, those who purchased the figure also received this photo, signed by Haruo Nakajima in Bin Freya. Fantastic. So that was my G-Fest 2019 haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll definitely make a video about my experience at G-Fest this year, so expect that soon. I'll also be doing some movie reviews along the way, so get ready for those. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys later.